Hey guys, so today is the first official day of summer here with uh, my wonderful daughter who's been driving me crazy and it hasn't even been a full 24 hours since she got out of school. But we had a lot of fun today. We are visiting some places to do some research for Crossing Stars and developing some of the characters a little more thoroughly. You know, I try to keep all of the facts of my books, you know, as close to accurate as I can. Sometimes we have to, you know, moderate things and change them for the story's sake. But I do try to stay true, you know, as far as dates and locations and stuff like that. So I've been doing a lot of research on historical Shreveport, trying to piece together um, Joss's history and some more of Joey's history. We talked about Joey's history when he was still on the Ashford Plantation, but we haven't really dove, you know, dove into where, you know, kind of where it went from there. So we're heading there and crossing stars. Keep with me for that for more updates. Um, today, my daughter and I visited the Louisiana State Exhibit Museum. And I know if you're from Shreveport, you've been to this place at least once in your life. But uh, it's got a lot of cool artifacts in there, um, a lot of art, a lot of history. Um, the thing that we really enjoy the most is, of course, the Caddo Indians. My family has um, Indians from the Spanish Lake area in our family, so it was really kind of cool to see things from the artifacts of that time point, especially the canoe. And if you go right now, you can see the canoe that was extracted off the Red River. You can see the whole video of how they found it. They, you know, they had to cut it up to get it out of there because it was buried under so much clay and dirt and just... I mean, and the thing's huge. It's almost 30 feet long. In fact, my daughter decided to do a short video to tell everyone how long that canoe really is and show you how big. So that'll be at the end of the blog, just something kind of fun for you guys. But if you go to the, um, the Louisiana State Museum, right now you can get what they call a passport. And this lists all of the places in Louisiana, the museums and stuff. And when you go, and we're going to go to the, uh, the Spring Street Museum next, but they will stamp your passport for you. So that everyone knows you've been there and you know you you know you've been there <laughs> um, but it also has uh, places I didn't even know were in the state that we now have on our bucket list for this summer so stay with me this summer we're gonna be going to a lot of locations doing research you know the history buff in me is really excited about that too so just stay tuned to once bitten twice cursed um, with crossing stars and on to the third book I have a lot of things I have to take care of for that and it's a lot of research so there's gonna be a lot more guys there's a bug flying on me <laughs> you can tell you're in louisiana and it's starting to get hot when there is a bug flying on you in a span of about two seconds when you walk outside um well let's see uh what was i saying oh going into once bitten twice cursed um a lot of things happened this last week we booked another book signing and uh, it's at the qe tavern in streetport on june 4th from six o'clock to eight o'clock um I've got to order a few more books for that, but just uh, give me a heads up if you're going to be there and you're expecting a copy so I kind of know, you know how many copies I, I might need to take with me to that book signing. We're going to have some fun. We're going to um, hopefully have some more characters there for you guys to meet and maybe play out some scenes from the book. So let's see, that's uh, June 4th, and then I'm going to be out of town for a little bit, and I've got some family coming in, so I'm going to take about a week off after that, and then we're going to dive right into some more um, book sightings and things, and I will, of course, have those up on our websites and on YouTube and on the Facebook and everything, you know, when I have the correct dates and information. So, guys, I'm sorry to be so brief this week, but uh, I've had, there's that dang bug. <laughs> it just flew almost right in my face. I've had kind of a a long week. I haven't been able to get a lot of work done, but I, I am trying to catch up, but it's mostly research right now. And if you ever want to go with me, just let me know. And, you know, of course, you know, we're going to, like I said, it's the Spring Street Museum, uh, either tomorrow or later on next week. And, you know, guys, there's so much in Shreveport, Bozier. If you're from the area, you really should take the time to educate yourself of some of our local places, because we have a lot of deep, rich history right here in our backyard. And that was the whole point of once bitten twice cursed you know i discovered we had so much here and i wanted to bring that to life for the readers and i hope i genuinely hope that i have done a good job at that you know at least bringing it to life for you um make sure you're reviewing the book on amazon if you've taken time to read it take time to review it you know it takes like three minutes to get it done for me and i'm really enjoying the feedback from that right now and uh the main thing is people have said about the editing issues guys it's going through another editor right now i, I apologize i was rushing to get to the first deadline and now I'm rushing to get to the next one. So just uh, stay with me with Once Bitten Twice Cursed and like I said if you're local and you want to go with me one day to any, you know, any of the museums in the area when I'm going just you know let me know and I'll be more than glad to you know have other people with me that's not a, a six-year-old driving me crazy because it is summertime so I you know I try not to talk about my private life a lot and I do have a child 
but I also have to be an adult and I have to work and I know every everyone can understand that at some point so just uh, stay with me at once bit and twice cursed um see how cute my little one is giving us a little tour of the indian canoe and guys keep reviewing the reviewing the book keep buying the book if you want a copy of it let me know and i will get you one as soon as i can thanks guys